Have you ever felt like you're experiencing things that just don't make sense in the usual way? Today we're diving into the seven weird spiritual awakening experiences everyone has. These are not just any experiences, they're the peculiar, often challenging ones that push us into deeper self-awareness and growth. So let's explore these unique awakening signs and what they truly mean for us on our spiritual journeys. 1. Heightened Awareness of Duality Imagine suddenly seeing the world in high-definition contrast. This is what happens during the early stages of a spiritual awakening. You might find yourself disliking your job more than ever, feeling disconnected from certain friends, or losing interest in what society labels as pleasures. It's like you're seeing the true colors of the world for the first time. This new lens can make the familiar suddenly feel strange and foreign, as if you're living in a world that no longer fits who you are becoming. The clash between old routines and new realizations can be disconcerting but incredibly illuminating. As you navigate this heightened awareness, you may start questioning everything from your career path to your social circle to your core beliefs. This period of intense reflection often leads to a profound sense of disconnection from the materialistic and dualistic world. However, it's also a powerful opportunity to forge a deeper connection with your true self. Embracing solitude and introspection becomes a pathway to authenticity, helping you to strip away the non-essential and focus on what genuinely brings you peace and fulfillment. Although this phase can feel isolating, it is also incredibly enriching, as it pushes you to live more consciously and aligned with your innermost values. 2. Inconsistency in spiritual practices. One day you're all about meditation, the next you're exploring hypnotherapy or journaling, but nothing sticks for long. Does that sound like you? It's a common phase where you hop from one practice to another, seeking what best soothes your soul. This exploratory phase is marked by curiosity and a desire to connect with something greater than yourself. While it may seem fickle or indecisive, it's actually a crucial part of the awakening process. Each practice offers a unique perspective and benefits, allowing you to gather tools that you may blend into your own custom spiritual routine. As you dip your toes into various practices, you might experience moments of profound peace or sudden insights, alongside phases of frustration or doubt. This is all part of the journey. The key is not to judge yourself harshly, but to observe what each practice teaches you about your being. Over time, you will notice that certain techniques have a more lasting impact, resonating deeply with your spirit. These are the practices that you are likely to return to and deepen. Your spiritual regimen will eventually stabilize as you learn more about what genuinely nurtures your soul and supports your growth. Remember, there is no one-size-fits-all in spirituality. Your path is as individual as you are. 3. Developing spiritual arrogance. It's an ironic twist. Growing spiritually might lead you to feel superior to others who aren't on the same path. As you gain new insights and start to see the world differently, there's a temptation to think that you've figured it all out. This can manifest as a subtle or not so subtle sense of spiritual elitism, where you begin to judge others for not being as awakened or enlightened. You might find yourself impatient with others' perspectives or dismissive of practices and beliefs that don't align with your new understanding. This spiritual arrogance can also creep into your interactions, leading you to override conversations with your newfound wisdom, often without being asked for it. It's easy to fall into the trap of believing that because you're exploring spiritual depths, you have all the answers. However, this attitude can isolate you and even hinder your spiritual progress. Every person you meet can teach you something, and dismissing others because they are on a different part of their journey can close you off to valuable lessons. If you recognize this happening, it's crucial to take a step back and reflect. Spirituality is fundamentally about connection, not just to the self or the divine, but to the humanity in everyone. It's about expanding your heart and mind. Embracing humility doesn't mean diminishing what you know. It means acknowledging that there is always more to learn and that everyone, no matter where they are on their path, has something valuable to offer. Realigning with these principles can transform spiritual arrogance into a compassionate openness, deepening your own spiritual experience and truly embodying the wisdom you seek to spread. 4. Feeling overwhelmed. Ever felt bombarded by the universe? Like every clock shows 11-11 or every other encounter, 
seems to hold a deeper meaning. It's as if the universe is speaking directly to you, sending signals at every turn. This intense barrage of synchronicities can make you feel like you're living in a hyper-connected state where everything is significant and nothing is coincidental. While these experiences can be exhilarating, affirming your spiritual path, they can also become overwhelming, especially when the boundary between significant messages and ordinary life begins to blur. When every little detail appears loaded with meaning, it can lead to a sense of spiritual fatigue or confusion. You might start questioning if you're interpreting the signs correctly or if you're supposed to act on every one of them. This overload can disrupt your mental peace and make daily functioning challenging. It's important during these times to remember that not every sign needs immediate attention or interpretation. Grounding yourself becomes essential in managing these overwhelming spiritual experiences. Techniques such as spending time in nature, practicing mindfulness, or engaging in physical activity like yoga can help anchor you in the present moment and bring you back to your physical senses. These methods work by reconnecting you with the earthly, tangible elements of your life, providing a counterbalance to the ethereal, sometimes chaotic, nature of spiritual signs. Additionally, energy balancing practices such as working with crystals, engaging in breathwork or meditative walks can also play a crucial role. These practices help to clear your energy field and restore a sense of calm and balance. By incorporating these grounding and balancing techniques, you can enjoy the insights and affirmations from the universe without becoming lost in them. Maintaining this equilibrium allows you to appreciate the signs as guides rather than directives, integrating them into a well-rounded and healthy spiritual life. 5. Changes in relationships. As you shift, your relationships will too. This is perhaps one of the most palpable and sometimes painful aspects of a spiritual awakening. As you evolve and change, you may find that your frequencies no longer align with those of some people who have been part of your life for years. You might drift away from old friends because the topics that interest you, the activities you value, and even your fundamental outlook on life have transformed. Similarly, you might find that you're less tolerant of negativity or superficiality, seeking deeper and more meaningful connections. This transition can be unsettling. It's not just about losing touch with people. It often involves an inner struggle as you reconcile the person you are becoming with the relationships you use to value. However, it's important to recognize that this process is not just about loss. It's also about making room for new relationships and meeting new individuals who resonate with your evolving beliefs and who can offer mutual support and growth on this journey. These new connections often feel more aligned with your current path and can provide fresh perspectives and energies that invigorate your spirit. Trusting in the universe's plan during these times of relational instability can be challenging, but it's crucial. Understanding that each person in your life serves a particular purpose, whether to teach you a lesson or to share your journey for a season or a lifetime, can help ease the transition. Letting go of past relationships allows you to embrace the new ones that the universe is steering towards you. These new connections are not random. They are attracted into your life because they match the vibrational energy you are putting out into the world. 6. Contradictory Behaviors Awakening doesn't make you perfect. As you journey through spiritual growth, you may expect to transcend all your old habits and reactions. Yet you might find yourself caught off guard by your own behaviors, getting angry in traffic, feeling impatient in long lines, or reacting emotionally under stress at work. These moments can be particularly jarring when they seem to contradict the spiritual insights and peacefulness you've been cultivating. It's important to understand that spiritual awakening is a layered process, not a switch that flips you instantly into a state of perpetual calm and enlightenment. The deeper you venture into your spiritual path, the more your awareness expands, but this doesn't automatically overwrite years or even decades of ingrained habits, responses, and emotional reflexes built into your psyche. When you find yourself reacting in these old ways, it can serve as a powerful reminder that growth is ongoing. Each instance provides a unique opportunity to observe yourself, to understand what triggers you, and to learn how to respond differently. The key is not to judge yourself harshly or to feel defeated. Instead, treat these moments as signposts indicating areas where your attention and work are needed. Being patient with yourself is crucial. 
Just as a seed doesn't become a tree overnight, spiritual maturity takes time to develop. It involves gradually aligning your actions with your newfound inner consciousness. Each time you catch yourself before reacting in an old way, or even if you catch yourself afterward, it's an opportunity for learning and growth. Practice self-compassion, acknowledge your human imperfections, and give yourself grace as you navigate this complex transformation. 7. Preaching about spiritual experiences. When you discover something profound, it's natural to want to share it with the world. The excitement and transformation you feel can be so overwhelming that you may find yourself eager to spread the word, wanting others to experience the same revelations and shifts that have been so life-changing for you. However, this enthusiasm, while well-intentioned, can sometimes lead to preaching about your spiritual experiences in ways that may not always be well received. The key to sharing your spiritual journey is to recognize that each person is on their own unique path. Not everyone may be at a point in their life where they are open to or interested in exploring spiritual concepts and practices. Some might be indifferent, while others could even be skeptical or resistant to such ideas. Pushing your insights on others can lead to feelings of discomfort or alienation rather than inspiration. Therefore, the wisdom in sharing lies in discernment and sensitivity. It involves tuning into the receptiveness of your audience, whether it's a friend, family member or a larger group, and sharing in a way that respects their current state and openness to spiritual discussions. This might mean sometimes holding back, even when you feel an urge to share, and other times it might involve tailoring your message in a way that is accessible and relatable, rather than overwhelming or dogmatic. Respecting others' journeys also means recognizing the timing. Just as your spiritual awakenings occurred at specific moments in your life for particular reasons, so too will others have their experiences when they are ready. It's important to offer space and freedom for personal discovery, without the pressure of unsolicited advice. When you do find opportunities to share, focus on doing so from a place of genuine care and connection, rather than a desire to convert or convince. Share your experiences as personal narratives, rather than universal truths. This approach not only respects the autonomy of others, but also invites open, non-judgmental conversations about spirituality, which can be more enriching and enlightening for everyone involved. In conclusion, as you embark on a spiritual awakening, remember it's like setting off on a thrilling adventure that transforms not just how you see the world, but how you engage with it. It's a journey filled with ups and downs, but ultimately, it leads to profound personal growth and a deeper, more conscious way of living. Each step, no matter how weird or challenging, is a step towards a richer, more fulfilled existence. Thank you for joining me in this exploration. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and share your experiences in the comments below. Your journey is unique and your insights are invaluable to our growing community.